Hi, it's John Vanderslice, and welcome to the next edition of the Luxury Manifesto. We're here at the beautiful Rome Cavallari, a Waldorf Astoria hotel and resort. And with me is Ferruccio Ferragamo, the chairman of Salvatore Ferragamo. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, John. Ferragamo is a well-established brand, kind of like our Waldorf Astoria brand. Tell me, over the years, uh, what kind of things have changed and what kind of things have stayed the same? Uh, well, it's a good question because many things have changed and uh, nothing has changed. Uh, many things in terms of uh, practicality of uh, the product we sell. The consumer is a lot changed. You know, they, they are much more prepared, much more aware, mm -hmm. thanks to the information, thanks to Internet. But at the same time, they all look for pleasure to please themselves with product that uh, when they are in good mood, they are, uh, is a way to gratify themselves. You know, yeah, we find that uh, a lot of the new luxury customers seem casual in their approach, but they are as demanding, if not more demanding, than the luxury people from, uh, from years ago. You know, you were a company that was founded, which are some of my favorite, uh, uh, to make shoes for some of my favorite actresses, like Marilyn Monroe and Carmen Miranda. And uh, you started as a company for uh, bespoke shoes for Hollywood starlets. And now you are a global brand? Yes. With multiple product lines, right? Well, you're right. Uh, we were uh, in the days of my father. My father started uh, everything from zero. He, was, uh, he came to America as an immigrant and uh, he wanted to do the shoes his way, not what they prepare him to do. And so he opened a tiny shop, uh, three meter by three meter, in uh, Santa Barbara, near Hollywood. Uh -huh. And by word of mouth, no budget, no uh, marketing campaign, nothing of that, uh, no internet. He just crowded his shop with uh, all the movie stars of Hollywood. And his shoes uh, that he was producing those days are today in Ferragamo Museum in Florence, one of the 67 museum that exist in Florence and they are quite incredible. And this was until 1960 when daddy passed away and uh, uh, my mother took over. Really? My mother, um, Wanda, uh, was not able to make shoes. Uh, she was able to make children, six of us. <laughs> <laughs> so she had a great experience there but she had no idea what shoes was. But she has a passion to try to realize my father's dream, which was to dress a customer from the shoes to the head. Uh -huh. And so she did with the help of the six children. And so we become uh, a company that produce uh, everything that we produce today. And we multiply in countries. Not only America was uh, strong, but we went to Japan. We started in China. And it's been, uh, I've been very lucky. Sorry, Tell me about luxury customers. You know, how, really over the last 15 or 20 years, even in recent times, how, how has the luxury customer changed? They have evolved a lot, and I think uh, customers are um, uh, very acute, very well informed. Sometimes they come in the shop and they already know what they're going mm -hmm. to find, thanks to the information system that we today live. But they have the same mood of many years ago, I believe which is to please themselves to, when they are, uh, you know, in motivation to buy something for themselves. And, um, and I think that has yeah. uh, been the leitmotiv that has been... Uh, so uh, tell me if you had a few sentences to add to the Luxury Manifesto. Uh, any thoughts? I think that luxury is something uh, that you achieve uh, when it's not easy to achieve. And to me, luxury... It's a day with my children uh, at home. I have six children also with uh, 10 grandchildren. And we often are at Il Borro uh, enjoying, someone is playing polo, someone is doing soccer, someone is going uh, hunting. And when we are there, to me it's a luxury. When you are uh, with people that um, uh, you want to be and you have time yes. to dedicate, you don't have to rush, I think that's uh, That's a great luxury. luxury. That's terrific. <laughs> Ferruccio Ferragama, thank you so much for joining us for the Luxury thank Manifesto. You.